Hey guys, welcome to day 15 of staying sane, staying safe and staying home. Okay, so day 15, um, still a lot going on. We've got ups and downs, the numbers are like dropping and then they're getting bigger again. So yes, there is still quite a lot of uncertainty and no, we don't know how long this is going to go on for. So I'm going to give you a small, a quick video today to work with. Uh, and it's going to be about owning our own energy, okay? I had put something up a couple of days ago, which was about how we're not responsible for anyone else's happiness and that we shouldn't actually take on that responsibility. As much as we love someone, as much as we want to support them um, and help them stand on their own two feet and cheer for them, we can do all of that with the people that we love and the people that we want to. But it should not become our own responsibility. Like, don't take it on to that extent of having to feel that it's your job to do. Now, having said that, uh, I want to actually uh, kind of focus on us owning our own energy. Okay, when I say owning our own energy, I mean not needing other people, other people, sorry, to, to compliment you, to feel nice, or not needing other people to actually step in and do something nice for you, for you to feel um, vibrant and to feel good about things in general. It's actually owning your own energy and being responsible for it. So that would mean that you don't need someone else to actually give you something, whether it's attention, um, whether it's uh, a compliment, whether it's... Uh, time from their day it could be anything as long as you're not needing it to raise your vibration and your energy that means you're on a good path okay so the minute that you feel that you need someone else's attention to have a good day or you need someone else's attention to feel beautiful or you need someone else's approval to actually feel good about yourself that's kind of like um a red light going on and off and you need to pay attention to that you need to realize that someone else you're giving someone else the permission to actually own your energy and that can be very very harmful for yourself so you need to stop it you need to actually look at yourself straight in the eye and you need to say okay so why do i need this person's approval what is it that they have that i don't have what is it that they will give me because obviously with, with their approval, like them giving you a compliment or them saying something specific, it's meeting one of your needs. So I would say, look at the bigger picture, take a step back and see what is it? Why would I need an approval from someone else? Don't I trust my own opinion? Don't I think I'm good enough and what I think is good enough? And then take a minute to actually take yourself into the actual procedure of visualizing the next time it happens without you really needing their approval like go into a next time of the same incident happening and then take their response away but have yourself still feel good about yourself still feel good about your day okay give yourself the time to actually picture the um, the emotions and like the energy your energy still being high and vibrant without someone else's approval or without someone else's um nugget or look you know like that glance or um the extra compliment or anything else that it is that someone gives you because for us to actually feel energized by someone else, they give you something. There, there's something that you're missing that you feel is being given to you by them. And that's not a bad thing by all means. I mean, we're made in this way, like God has made us in this specific way to need each other and to 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 actually fill each other's needs. That That's perfectly fine. And it's healthy as well, up to a point. So we want to keep it healthy. Okay, we're not saying, oh, just do everything on your own. You don't need anyone else. That's not what I'm saying by all means. But let's just keep it healthy in the sense that you don't always need someone else's approval to be able to be vibrant and happy and to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, you know what? I think I look damn good. You know, we need you to be able to do that. Whether you're a man or a woman, we need you to be able to like do that and just enjoy what you see and appreciate who you are for what you are. You know, just appreciate the way that you are 
even if no one else notices it, even if no one else actually takes the time to look your way. The important thing is to be able to notice it and acknowledge it yourself without anyone else having to look your way and applaud. Okay? So let's just actually give ourselves the chance to, to rise and like just, you know, overlook a few things and just appreciate who you are in your own skin. In your own skin, with your own thoughts and your own ideas. And it doesn't matter if you're not like everyone else. We don't want to be like everyone else. Okay, we don't want to be like everyone else. We don't want to all have perfect skin and we don't want to all have perfect hair and perfect teeth and a perfect character and this great sense of humor and the great body. It, it would be really, really boring if we all were like, you know, absolutely perfect. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay to have all these flaws and to just, you know, have all these things that aren't perfect on you. It's great. Start loving all that imperfection that is on your body, that is within you, that is everywhere. Like, just, just love it the way it is. It's okay for things to be the way they are. So just allow yourself to like what you see, to like what you feel, to like what you think. Whether it's good or bad, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. You're not always going to have the non-judgmental thoughts and the perfect thoughts. It's okay for God's sake. Just allow yourself to be who you are and appreciate who you are without having to have other people approve all the time. Okay? So the next time you get dressed to go somewhere, which I'm not sure that's going to be very soon, but the next time you get dressed to go somewhere, even if it's downstairs for breakfast, for God's sake, look at yourself in the mirror and just tell yourself how damn hot you look. Okay? Appreciate who you are, even with no makeup on, even with your hair being a freaking mess. Just like what you see for once. And it doesn't matter if other people aren't turning around to see. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Have a great evening, guys. I love you and stay safe. Bye.